Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful morning in Cleveland, Ohio. We're here today for a very important event, which is actually unfolding, literally unfolding behind us. You have the largest wind turbine components uh, in all of Northeast Ohio. They are coming in and they're going to be assembled on land in Euclid. And uh, the gentlemen behind me here have all been a part of that whole process uh, from uh, from the Longshoremen Union to the Cleveland Port Authority, uh, City Council and the City of Cleveland, Bill Mason, who's been a leader on, on wind power issues uh, for many years now. This is an important, it's both an important symbolic moment and a substantive moment. Uh, what you see behind you is a, uh, the components of a wind turbine which come originally from Germany, then through the St. Lawrence Seaway and are being unloaded here at the Port of Cleveland. And it does several things at the same time. First of all, it shows that we're serious, and Cuyahoga County is, is one of the investors. We ended up committing about $350,000 to Lincoln Electric, who is going to be assembling this, uh, this wind turbine on their uh, facility's property at, in, in Euclid. So the, the county has, has put their money where their mouth is and showed that we're serious about supporting this emerging industry. We want Greater Cleveland to be on the cutting edge of this new renewable uh, energy sector. We also want to do everything we can to promote the Port of Cleveland to be an operating and working port where people are unloading and working and, and bringing in products from all over the world. So this is, uh, this is a unique moment because what we have behind us isn't just a, a physical representation of those, of those policies, but it's also real substance. It's showing that we're serious, that we can get it done. Now, it's not just going to be one turbine. That's what's important, and that's one of the reasons that the county has supported it. It's not just about the creation of this one turbine or, or, or one delivery being made at this port. It's also going to have the potential to be used as a, really as a, as a learning project, as a learning facility, so that we can get on the ground floor of, of not just the importing of these kind of wind turbines, but also the, 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 the production and the manufacture of them. So the folks at Lincoln Electric are going to be training and teaching their employees so that, again, we can, we can get those skill sets so that we can, in this global competition, we can end up coming out on top. So we're very pleased to be here. We think this is a very important day, uh, and, and we're, we're happy to be a part of it. And this has been a long time coming. There's a lot of, as I said, the folks behind me here have been working on this project for a long time. So this is a great, this is a great day for us. A at this point in time, I'd like to introduce uh, Will Friedman, who is the executor executive director of the Port of Cleveland, to expand a little bit about what's happening behind us. Will. Thank you, uh, County Executive Fitzgerald. Well, I think as you can see, wind energy has arrived in Cleveland in a big way. Uh, this has been a long time in coming. It's an exciting day for us. It's our first wind energy uh, move through the Port of Cleveland. Uh, a number of ports within the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway, in the Gulf, and on the coast have been handling uh, wind energy components like this for quite some time. So we're excited that uh, this move is here. Um, this is emblematic of uh, trade and commerce and how uh, connected we are globally. Uh, we have something special here in Cleveland. We have a deep water port connected to the rest of the world. Phoenix, Denver, Atlanta, Indianapolis, Charlotte, uh, all those cities, they don't have this. We have it. We intend to maximize it. We intend to continue to exploit it. We've been handling uh, heavy lifts like this for a long time in Cleveland. Our longshoremen, our terminal operator, they know how to do it. We have the equipment. The Port Authority is going to make the investments in inf infrastructure that we need to make going forward. And hopefully we're going to see a lot more of this. Um, so uh, welcome, uh, County Executive Fitzgerald. Thank you for being here this morning. Uh, Prosecutor Mason, thank you. Uh, it's great to have county officials down here at the port. And I know a lot of people need to uh, need to come up here and say a few words. So uh, with that, I'll uh, see you at the podium. Thank you. Uh, it's a great day here to be uh, in sunny Cleveland. We've uh, been working on this project for a very, very long time, as many of you know. But before we get started, I want to thank the uh, Cuyahoga County Cleveland Port Authority, Will Friedman, for his leadership, Ed Fitzgerald, the county executive, and John Baker of the International Longshoremen's Shore Union. Uh, thank you, Kennersis. They're not here, but this doesn't really happen without them. Uh, thank you to Lincoln Electric and their chairman, John Stropke. Um, as chairman of the Great Lakes Energy Task Force, I extend my appreciation to the task force members for the continued dedication to advanced energy. More than two and a half years ago, the task force has been aggressively pursuing Kennersis. We believe that Kennersis has the ex ex expertise and shares our vision 
for making this region a center for wind energy in North America. We are hopeful that this first turbine coming into the port of Cleveland is the beginning of transforming Cleveland into the green city by the Blue Lake. When we started this journey over six years ago, erecting utility-sized wind turbines in Lake Erie or onshore was a far-fetched idea for most. We formed the task force in August of 2006 and completed the feasibility study in 2009 for offshore wind turbines. This year-long feasibility study conducted by this German company, UE has paid dividends. The task force created the Lake Erie, uh, Lake, um, Lake Erie Development Corporation, or LECO, a nonprofit regional development organization for the purpose of establishing an advanced energy corridor along the Great Lakes communities. The Lakeshore community, uh, the responsible for the development of the Lakeshore installations. In September 2010, we made the historic announcement that three partners, companies, Bechtel, Cavallo Energy, and Freshwater Wind, will develop the first offshore wind turbine project in North America. Construction is expected to begin in Lake, Lake Erie, just out here in the lake. The, tax, the task force goal is to blaze a trail for the development of future foot wind farm and technologies and wind energy for North America. This has always been about creating good, sustaining jobs. Today present, represents another significant development down this path. In September of 2008, UE, the company that conducted the feasibility study, introduced me to Kenersys. We then began discussions with Lincoln Electric about installing a Kenersys turbine on their site and pursuing a wind turbine manufacturer that would be interested in locating to our region. Seth Mason from Lincoln Electric is in the back there, Ed Weston of the Great Lakes Wind Network, Steve Dever, of the, uh, the executive director of the task force, visited Germany to look at Kenersys facilities and learn more about their technology. The agreement between Lincoln Electric and Kenersys reflects a successful collaboration between business and city, county, state, and federal government. To further study the ecological impact of the wind turbines, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources has agreed to monitor the effects of the turbine at the Lincoln site. These studies will supplement our feasibility study on the impact of wind turbines offshore. I believe this is the first of many firsts in a very competitive business that is beginning to provide certainty in a market for the wind industry here in Northeast Ohio. The message today is clear. By working together, we can establish this advanced energy corridor as the innovative engine for the next generation of jobs in America. There is an urgency for our leaders to come together in order for this mega region to prosper. Lincoln Electric has shown that leadership. I again applaud them for making this significant decision to partner with Kenersys. This single turbine, the largest in North America, is symbolic of creating an entry point for future development of wind energy industry in Northeast Ohio. I believe this, this region has the potential to lead the nation and the next frontier, which is advanced energy. The wind industry is a thriving multi-billion dollar industry that is expected to increase over the next decade to over a hundred billion dollars in investments. We can capitalize on these economic benefits if we stay vigilant. The task force has created new public policy by changing the law in Ohio, which created the market for advanced energy. We are currently seeking an amendment to that bill to create a carve out specifically for wind to help this industry grow. There will be a wind turbine in North America. There will be an industry here. The only question that remains is, will the market import turbines from components to Ohio, or will Northeast Ohio build them right here and create the next generation of jobs for our children? The partnership between Lincoln Electric and Kenersys is the beginning of our region's attraction of new companies here that create good paying jobs. Kenersys is one of those companies. They have nearly completed their due diligence on picking a site in North America. It is our hope that the task force partners have made the case to Kenersys to set up shop here, to grow and become prosperous and a leading developer of wind turbines in North America. Thank you. I'd like to recognize uh, Seth Mason from, uh, from Lincoln Electric. I'd like to, he's our private sector partner in this operation. Seth, if you could come forward and, and say a few words, if you, if you would. All of the folks from the Department of Energy, the state of Ohio, Ohio Department of Development, uh, representatives like La Tourette, Senator Brown, they've all been a big part of this process. 
been a bipartisan effort to do this, and uh, the county has stepped up big. Mr. Mason, his group, Steve Dever. Uh, I know there are so many folks that I could thank to get to this point, and I appreciate their help. I invite you all out to our campus when the thing is uh, up and erected, and, and we intend to have a uh, grand opening at that point. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to recognize uh, uh, Councilman Matt Zone, who's been a, a leader on uh, renewable energy issues and clean energy issues, and he's also taken a special interest in this particular project. Matt? Thank you, Executive Fitzgerald. Uh, you know, on behalf of my colleagues at the City of Cleveland, Mayor Jackson and the Cleveland City Council, we're really excited because I can remember in 2006 standing in front of the Great Lakes Science Center with Bill and others when we formed the Great Lakes Energy Development Task Force and we were looking at this turbine we were putting up there at that site. It's only a 225 kilowatt turbine but the purpose of that turbine wasn't to uh, create large-scale utility uh, generation, it was to change a future generation. And all of our children and our children's children who go to that science center are being inspired by what renewable energy can really mean. When you look at the, the blades that are behind us, this is large-scale utility generation. And Prosecutor Mason touched upon it, until you get governments who are going to commit the state, the federal government, uh, and now you have local governments who are committed to renewable energy portfolio standards. The city of Cleveland, we uh, adopted one uh, by 2015. 15% 15 of all our energy will come from a renewable source, and then it steps up incrementally, 20% 20 in 2020, 25% 20, in 2025. That will create the market that will drive this industry. And as County Exec, uh, Fitzgerald said, and, and our prosecutor Bill Mason, we can do it right here in our backyard. And the city of Cleveland's really excited of being a partner of it, and today's a great day. Thank you. The, the bottom line is that this project is about creating jobs, and with that in mind, uh, some of the jobs that we hope are going to uh, continue to be created and expand are going to be um, from the folks unload, unloading the freight here, and I want to recognize at this time uh, John Baker from Longshoreman Union. Yeah, John? Cleveland is the first major port in the Great Lakes especially in Lake Erie. And today is a dedication to what we're talking about. We can, we can probably unload anything that we, we brought in to uh, unload. And we, we have some uh, tough decisions sometimes to unload these things. You can see on this first liftoff, this is the first time we've done it. But it came off in one piece. So with that, uh, the five gentlemen that were just speaking here, they said it all, and I just want to echo uh, what Will said about the port, and uh, we're delighted that you're here. Thank you. Uh, we're making a down payment on what we think is going to be an emerging industry for the 21st century, and we want Cleveland to be at the center of that. So thanks for coming. Thanks for your participation. Thanks. <laughs>